Hi everyone, I'm Giuseppe Paolo and I'm here to present you our last paper, Sparsy World Exploration via Novelty Search and Emitters. In this paper, we introduce Serene, a divergent search evolution algorithm that is designed to efficiently deal with sparse rewards. It does so by separating exploration from exploitation of the, the reward, in which the exploration is performed through novelty search and the exploitation is performed through emitters. We can see here that it can find ways for a four-legged ant to navigate a maze and go for, to every possible point, even to reach the rewarding area here or here. But what is it a sparse reward? So, as usually, for embodied agents, rewards are given for every single action an agent performs. This helps the agent understand how well it's doing with respect to the task that it's assigned to solve, and it helps the designer to give the agents information about what is the task that the designer wants to be solved. On the contrary, in a sparse reward system, the reward is given only after multiple steps have passed. So in these situations, the agents can have some problems in understanding what is its task and how well it is doing. There are multiple kinds of sparse rewards, but they can be grouped in two main families. The first one is called binary sparse rewards, in which the reward is only given if the task is accomplished. It can be seen here, for example, where a robot has to put a cylinder inside a box. The reward is only given if the cylinder inside the box and it tells the agent that the task has been accomplished. No, no more information. The other family is what we call gradient sparse rewards, in which the reward is sparse, but at the same time, once we obtain a reward, there are different levels of the reward. For example, let's look at this robot that has learned how to throw darts at a target. The reward is only given if the dart hits the target, but at the same time, the closer the dart is to the center, the higher the reward. This means that there is a gradient and there is a way to improve on the reward. This is also the setting on which we will focus uh, during this work. So sparse rewards can happen in many different situations, and if we want to apply machine learning algorithm to real-world systems, we need to find ways to deal with this. And a very good strategy to do so is to completely ignore any reward and just focus on exploration. So focus on ways to discover all the things we can do in the environment. This is exactly what Novelty Search does. This is an algorithm, a divergent search algorithm that was introduced by Joe Lehman and Kenneth Stanley in 2008. And it's an algorithm that generates a set of policies, evaluates them in an environment, and selects the most novel policies among all the others. Let's show with an example how this works. Let's take this robot and environment. The algorithm generates some policies and evaluates them, as we can see here in the blue square. And then it generates a descriptor of the behavior of each of these policies. Given that here we're trying to learn how to navigate a maze, we can consider as a good descriptor the final position reached by the end. And we can see here this representation of the behavior shown on the right side in this behavior descriptor space. That is a space that is hand-designed by the designer and where each policy is represented by a point. Once the algorithm represented all the policies generated, it calculates their novelty. The novelty is calculated as the average distance between the behavior descriptor of each policies and all the others. And the higher this distance, the more novel that policy is, because it means that the policy's behavior is much more different from the rest. And we can see here, for example, that this policy here is the farther from the rest, the more or less reach the same area, so it's the most novel. So the algorithm chooses the most novel policies and selects them to generate the next generation of policies. Novelty Search is a very powerful algorithm to perform exploration, and it can cover quite well the behavior space, but at the same time has a big problem. In fact, if there is any reward, the algorithm completely discards this information, so it has no way to focus on the interesting part of the search space. If we remain on this example of the ant, uh, we have two rewarding areas here. 
But, and if we observe the ways policies behavior are distributed in the behavior space, we can see that the rewarding areas here in orange are explored the same way as the rest of the space. So this means that in this case where the reward is higher, while we get to the center of the reward area, we really need to be lucky to obtain this highest reward because the algorithm will not optimize toward this. With Serene, we tried to address this problem, and we did that by using the concept of emitters. This is a very powerful concept uh, that was introduced by Fontaine and his colleague in their paper Covariance Matrix Adaptation for the Rapid Illumination of Behavior Space. And basically, an emitter is an instance of a reward-based algorithm that performs local search around a point of the search space. The original algorithm, called CMAME, is based on MapElite, that is another divergent search algorithm that performs the search in a discretized space. And the algorithm works by generating a set of policies, extracting their behavior descriptor. As we can see here, we have four policies. Then it selects one of these policies, let's say this one, and uses this policy to initialize an emitter. So to initialize the initial population of the local search reward-based algorithm. Then it performs the local search through this algorithm by generating more policies. And it keeps on performing the search till the emitter reaches its termination criteria. Then at the end, only some of the policies respecting the selection criteria are selected and stored into the collection of policies that will be returned as results of the algorithm. At this point, another policy is selected and another emitter is instantiated and the search is continued. So this algorithm is very powerful, but it's limited by the fact that the search is driven through local search emitters. In our algorithm, Serene, we perform a global search through the exploration step performed by novelty search, and then the local search about the reward is performed through the emitters. We do so by using a two alternating step process in which, as I was saying, the exploration is performed in the exploration step through novelty search, and then the exploitation of the reward is performed through emitters. And the algorithm alternates these two steps thanks to a scheduler that divides the whole budget in small chunks and assigns each chunks to either one of the two steps. And Serene starts by assigning the first chunk to the exploration step, where it Novelty search performs exploration of the space. And if no reward is found, the algorithm performs again the exploration step by assigning another chunk of a budget to this step. At the end, on the contrary, if a reward is found, the next chunk will be given to the exploitation step, where the policies that discover the reward will be used to, gen to initialize emitters that will perform the local search and optimize on the reward. Once this other budget chunk is depleted, we go back to the exploration step with another budget chunk assigned to it, and we keep on repeating this alternating process till the whole budget is depleted. At the end, the algorithm returns us two collections of policies. The first one, called Novelty Archive, is a collection of the policies discovered during the exploration, and it's a collection that tries to, to cover as much as possible the search space. The second collection instead is what we call the reward archive and contains the best policies discovered during the exploitation step. These policies try to optimize on the reward, so they have very high rewards. So we wanted to test this algorithm, how it was performing, and we did this on four different sparse rewards environments in which the reward areas are highlighted here with these circles, and in which the reward is higher, the closer we get to the, to the center of the circle. The first environment that we tested was the curling environment, in which a two degrees of freedom arm has to push a ball on a table. Then we have the hard maze environment, where a two-wheeled robot has to learn to navigate the maze and reach one of the two rewarding areas. Then again, we have the redundant arm environment, in which a 20 degrees of freedom arm has to learn to put its end effector in all the possible positions of the plane. And finally, we have the robotic ant maze, in which this four-legged ant has to learn to navigate the maze 
discover the reward areas and try to get the maximum reward possible. We compared Serene against five different baselines. The first one is random search that just perform random search in the space. Then there is novelty search that fo only focuses on exploration. So completely ignoring the reward. Then we have map elites that is a divergent search algorithm that tries to optimize both the reward and the diversity of the policies. Then we have CMA-ME, that is the original algorithm introduced by Fontaine. And finally, we have a multi-objective approach that is called NSGA2, that optimizes at the same time through Pareto fronts, both the novelty and the reward. The first thing we tested was the focus, that is the percentage of allocated evaluation budget to either the exploration or the exploitation of the reward. And we can see here that Serene, thanks to its two-step alternating approach, and thanks to the scheduler, can assign the almost equal budget to either the exploration in blue or the exploitation of the reward areas in almost all environments. And in the robotic ant maze environment where exploration is harder, there is more budget assigned to it. This is on the contrary to any other baselines, which mainly focuses on exploration. Now, from now on, I will present the results on just the redundant ARM environment and the robotic ant maze environment because they are the hardest. But the results shown here are very similar to the ones obtained on the other two environments. And if you're curious about them, you can go check the paper and they're all described there. So at this point, given the fact that Serene was assigning less budget to exploration, we were wondering how well is the exploration performed by Serene? We measured this through the coverage metric. This metric is a metric calculated by dividing the search space in a 50 by 50 grid and calculating the percentage of occupied cells during the search. We can see that Serene can obtain almost similar level to novelty search in both environments, even though the, there is less budget assigned to it. And we can see that the whole space is also quite well covered but at the same time, the coverage is a bit less dense than the one obtained by novelty search, while the ones obtained on the reward areas, here shown in orange, is much more dense than the one found by novelty search. At the same time, NSGA, even though can quite well explore the reward areas, cannot completely explore the search space. And on the contrary, map elites can very well explore the space, but it takes much longer to get to the same coverage level, uh, mainly in the robotic ant maze, while CMAME sometimes has difficulties to explore the whole space. And here we can see how quick the whole exploration process from Serene is. We can see that after just 300 generation, basically the whole space is covered, and also some reward areas are discovered. And by the end of the search, around 800 generations, the space is completely covered, but the reward areas are also very densely explored. Then finally, we studied how good our algorithm is at improving the reward. And we can see that the reward exploitation is actually very quick and very fast on all rewarding areas. We can see that after very few evaluations, the rewards are very high. And even on the hardest to reach reward areas down here for the ant maze, the reward obtained by Serene is the highest among any other baseline. So in this paper, we introduce this algorithm, Serene, that can efficiently perform exploration and exploitation of sparse words by separating the exploration from the exploitation step. And this is done through a scheduler, and the exploration is performed through novelty search, while the exploitation is performed through emitters. As a future work, we would like to test different kind of emitters because this concept of emitters, as I said, is a, is a very powerful one and many kind of reward-based algorithms can be used for it. At the same time, we believe that the scheduler we used can be improved to have a more intelligent one that can even more optimize the search process. So as a conclusion, I want to thank you all for listening. I also want to thank my colleagues and supervisor, Alexan Konang, Stefan Doncier, and Alban Laflakier. And if you have any question, you can get in touch with me here at my email address. 
And if you're interested in the paper, you can download it by scanning it, this QR code here.